Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. Do not miss the companion article on Chris Stapp's Porzingis by Will Reeve, a guy that you should follow on Twitter as well. And head over to the website for lots of our great content because you're going to get the best kind of NBA analysis you won't read anywhere else. So, let's talk about Porzingis. Number four pick, people were really upset about it in the beginning, but I think that Phil Jackson has, has found gold here. He's got terrific skills, he can shoot the ball. I know his uh, field goal percentage is down right now, but he's just getting his feet wet. He's 20 years old, the mechanics look really good to me. So of course, the comparisons are to Dirk Nowitzki and guys like that, and I can definitely see that. He's definitely got that kind of ability and he's very young. So, I am very encouraged at what I see and hope to see a lot more as Derek Fisher gives him more playing time. The first thing that jumps out at you about Chris Stapp's Porzingis' stats are that he's doing all of this in only 24 minutes a game as a 20-year-old. You can only imagine what type of damage he could do with the kind of field goal percentage you'd expect from an even average big man. And you can sense the Knicks have something very viable here. While you watch the film, I want you to keep saying in the back of your mind, he's seven foot three, he's seven foot three, over and over again. Because when you see what he can do at that height, you can understand why Phil Jackson was intent on taking him with the fourth pick of the draft. First off, let's examine his offensive rebounding. He's got great instincts for where the ball is going to go, and also great timing to go along with good athletic ability to the point where the defense must account for him on all shots, or else he can just murder you with tip dunks. He's third in the league in offensive rebounding percentage and 16th in total rebounding percentage, and he's just not relying on his height to snatch them. He's going after them aggressively. In transition, he's got the speed of a fast power forward and has the ability to beat the opposing bigs down the floor whenever he likes. He is graceful, has no problem keeping his head up as he sprints, and won't encounter much resistance if he gets an early position down low. He might fall for the rookie mistake of running a guy over every now and then, but he also has the ball handling and footwork to make this kind of move in the front court to rock that rim. If you're wondering how he'll do in the triangle offense, the answer is quite well, thank you. As the Knicks run pinch post to the right side, Porzingis mans the center position and he'll get plenty of space to face up as the ball swings back to his side. The Knicks have some nice flow if Porzingis is trailing, where he can swing to allow the triangle to set up on the left side, then the guard back screens for him. While they missed it on this one, Porzingis has no problem flowing right back into pinch post and he just needs to get more comfortable operating out of Kobe's favorite position. At 7'3", he should have no problem getting this shot off on anyone. Porzingis can play multiple positions out of the triangle, and this should get Knicks fans excited to see him man the low post, face up, and easily knock down the 15-footer. As the weak side forward on the low post entry pass, he gets a cross screen from the wing. Normally, this player cuts to receive the pass on the nail. Instead, he gets to the three-point line, and this will yield him tons of wide-open threes if he can hit them. And you can see on that same action that if there is space at the nail, he can catch off the hop on a quick-release mid-range and just nail it. Porzingis can be particularly effective with drag screens in transition, and it will force his man to hurry to help contain the pick and roll, allowing him all sorts of room to pop to the three-point line for extremely wide open shots. The faster they can get into the drag screen action, the more wide open he'll be and the more three-pointers will start to fall. And when he can set a ball screen for Mello, watch out. Mello's gravity will open up all sorts of things for the Latvian giant. There you have it, sports fans. With players like Galloway and when they get Aaron Aflalo healthy and they have Porzingis getting more minutes and playing well and mellow, uh, the Knicks have something here. We don't know if they're going to compete for a playoff spot, but definitely a lot better than they were last year and the future looks a lot brighter. Uh, if you want to watch more of this, we have bonus footage to watch on our website. So click over on the link on the screen or down below in the description because you'll also get a chance to, to read Will Reeves' terrific companion article with it and watch even more bonus footage that we have breaking down more of his defense and how that will fit in because that's a big part of what's going to happen if they're going to be successful this year and next. Well, don't forget, at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel, we're a conversation. You in?